In this tutorial, I'll guide you through solving the pesky core isolation incompatible drive issue that prevents you from turning on memory integrity. Many users encounter this error where attempting to enable memory integrity results in a list of incompatible drivers. But fear not, I have got a solution. Firstly, head to the link provided in the description to download Driver Store Explorer from GitHub. This nifty tool allows you to view and manage drivers not visible in Device Manager. Once downloaded, extract the files and run RAP as an administrator. Driver Store Explorer will scan your PC and display all installed drivers. You can see all the installed drivers. Now, revisit the memory integrity settings to identify the incompatible drivers. In my case, it's Qualcomm Corporation and Huawei Technologies drivers. Next, locate and delete the Huawei drivers from Driver Store Explorer. Once done, proceed to memory integrity and check if the deleted Huawei drivers are gone. You will see indeed they were deleted. But wait, there's one more Huawei driver lurking in the shadows, you can see it's the very last driver on the list. Fear not, we'll tackle this one head on. Now let's proceed to next step on how to delete it. Open your web browser and search for auto runs for Windows. Click on the first link that appears and download this handy tool, usually just 2 to 3 megabytes in size. Once the download completes, extract the files. And locate auto run with 64. Right click on it and select run as administrator. Auto runs will launch, presenting you with a list of various programs and processes. Don't let the plethora of options overwhelm you, we're focusing on drivers here. Simply navigate to the top bar and click on drivers. Now you'll see a comprehensive list of all drivers installed on your system. Take a moment to scroll through the list and locate the Huawei driver that slipped through the cracks earlier. Once found, select it and bravely hit the delete button. Bid adieu to that pesky driver once and for all. Now, return to the memory integrity settings and scan once again to ensure our efforts were successful. Ah, there it is, gone without a trace. Now we are remaining with only Qualcomm drivers. Now, let's tackle those stubborn Qualcomm drivers. Head back to Driver Store Explorer and scroll down until you spot the Qualcomm drivers lurking in the list. With determination in our hearts, let's attempt to delete them. But uh oh, it seems they're putting up a fight. A pesky error message pops up, informing us that the uninstallation failed. Not to worry, we've got another trick up our sleeves. Right click on the Windows Start button and select Terminal, Admin, to run the terminal with administrative privileges. Yes, we're taking this operation to the next level. In the terminal window, we'll utilize the powerful Putal command line tool to remove the driver package. Execute the following command. Putal space slash delete driver oem9.inf slash uninstall. Ah, but don't forget to replace oem9.inf with the name of the driver package you're attempting to delete. Simply check the publisher name from the driver you want to remove and make the necessary substitution. Hit enter, and behold as the package is successfully eradicated from your system. With that triumph under our belts, continue the process, deleting the remaining incompatible drivers one by one. Persistence pays off.
Now, return to the memory integrity settings once more and scan to confirm that our mission was accomplished. Behold, all the incompatible drivers have vanished into the digital abyss, leaving us with the freedom to toggle memory integrity on and off at will. With this method, you can literally rid your system of any troublesome driver, ensuring smooth operation and enhanced security. By eliminating incompatible drivers, you pave the way for a more stable and reliable computing experience. Now, you may restart your PC for the changes to be effected. Remember, maintaining a clean and optimized system is key to maximizing performance and security. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and let us know how it worked for you. And of course, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials and troubleshooting guides.